Welcome back to Chem 101. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, pure substances versus mixtures. There's a lot of confusion uh, on what is a pure substance and what is a mixture. Now, uh, as far as pure substances go, there are two things that qualify. Uh, one is elements. Elements are pure substances. We, we've talked about how uh, elements are the different kinds of building blocks, uh, the different kinds of atoms that we have, but atoms are the simplest that they uh, of a particular material. So uh, atoms are pure because they are, you know, uh, the smallest bits of material. So elements fall under the pure substances. Another thing that falls under pure substances are compounds. Now remember, there is a difference between compounds and molecules. Uh, molecules uh, simply means we have more than one atom. So we can actually have uh, atomic um, or, or molecular elements, if you remember from one of the earlier videos. A molecular element such as hydrogen gas or um, nitrogen gas. Now these are molecular elements, but other elements also qualify, like gold or platinum um, or mercury. These would all be pure substances. Now compounds are more than one kind of atom. So things like um, water, two hydrogens and an oxygen, or sodium chloride, salt. This is an ionic compound. Uh, this is a molecular compound. Uh, we'll talk about the difference between molecular and ionic compounds in a later video. Uh, but if, if we have a, a, a container that has nothing but water in it, we would still say that's a pure substance. So it's okay if it has different kinds of atoms as long as there isn't, let's say, water and salt together in the same solution. Uh, if we had a, a container that had water and salt in it, that wouldn't be a pure substance anymore. That would be a mixture. So let's talk about the two different kinds of mixtures we can have. Uh, we can have mixtures that are completely mixed, thoroughly mixed, where any place we look, we see the exact same thing. So uh, a, a, a mixture that's that way is called homogenous. And you'll hear this term uh, in your chemistry course. Homogenous means it's evenly mixed. And so let's think of some things that are evenly mixed. Uh, air, for example is a homogeneous mixture, okay? Um, uh, bottled water uh, is probably a homogeneous mixture if it has ions in it. I guess it depends on what kind of water. Um, but most, uh, let's say chicken broth. Chicken broth would be a homogeneous mixture. Now, if they're not homogeneous, then they're heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Now, these are not evenly mixed. So uh, salad, for example, or cereal, right? These, clearly the milk and the cereal are two different things. And not everywhere you look are they identical. You don't get the exact same proportions in every salad bite. So these are heterogeneous mixtures. Uh, you could also add, um, let's say, oh, I can't think of another, another example, uh, salt water. Um, salt water would be down here. Uh, let's see, heterogeneous, um, maybe just the dirt outside. You know, you're gonna find all kinds of different clumps of dirt, different colors of dirt, but it's not necessarily uniform. So that would be heterogeneous. So that's, that's what you have. You have your pure substances and your mixtures. If it's a mixture, it has more than one thing in it. Uh, and then we can further define it as being evenly mixed or homogeneous or not evenly mixed and heterogeneous. Uh, if we do have just one substance, then that's pure. And we have two different kinds of pure. We have compounds, so pure water or pure salt or pure sugar, C6, H12O6. These would all be pure substances. Uh, or we can have pure elements, and these can be molecular elements, meaning more than one atom, or they can just be solitary atoms. Uh, all right, so I hope that uh, clears up any confusion about pure substances versus mixtures. In the next video, uh, we'll talk about
the different kinds of compounds, molecular compounds and ionic compounds.